on the 59. Everybody got proper footwear? Yep. All right. <laughs> We're going to take this rear end out today. Yeah. All right. We'll bring you along. Watch it. There you go, Greg. Got it. It's all yours, bud. Got it. Ah, uh, smells like a burnt witch fart. Uh, oh, here we go. So this is the 9 inch and Scott traded something there the other day for what the guy thought was a 9 inch but it was an 8 inch. So uh, that's going back and you found a third member for this right? Yes. So we found a third member we're going to go pick that up not today but maybe tomorrow and put that in so if anybody has any great advice for uh, fitting up that third member if there's any tricks or anything like that let us know we're going to go get some gaskets and seals and just kind of rebuild this uh, from top to bottom here today before that third member gets here and then uh, then that'll be that oh yeah in primer Woo. back in black looking good Mm-hmm. 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 Let's see. Uh, what else did we get today? We got some seals. We got to do some seals here. Probably got some part numbers I can give you guys. You know, you ask the dude at the local auto parts store. I need some seals for a Ford 9-inch. And then they start asking you all these questions. Nobody knows what these come out of, you know, because they just change cars. But... We were able to find some numbers and uh, get the seals here. I think this is for the uh, straight bearing style, not the tapered bearing style. There's a big and a little, and he gave us the little, and the little didn't fit, so this is the big one. But uh, the Ford part says MLP on it. I don't think the you guys can. The FOMOCO part says MLP, which who knows what that means, but uh, we'll get you a part number from the old uh, CarQuest. All untaped. Looking good. We did not paint the uh, the mating surface there. Still smells like evil death inside of that son of a bitch, but uh, it's going to work much, much better. Guaranteed. Flipper? Yes, sir. Got it. All good. It's right, fucking. Yep, the. Yeah, we took off some paint. Yeah. So, freaking, uh, yeah, that one's totally chooched there. We got it out with the antler. This one's even more chooched. New ones get ready to go in. Working the chooch there. Getting her all cleaned out, ready for some new lube. Mm hmm. And ready for some new seals. Oh, yeah. This doesn't look exactly like mine, <laughs> but it looks similar. Let's see here. Uh, this is it. Hopefully, you guys can read that 51098. That is the seal there for the axle. Uh, and then uh, we got a little, uh, I'm calling it a pumpkin seal right there for the back there. There's the part number on that one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A little permatex for fun. So uh, there we go. We're going to put those seals in uh, right now. Home? Home. Oh. All right. Switch places. Isn't exactly the garage game gang sticker board here, but uh, <laughs> some pretty good, uh, pretty good stickers there. I figure a few guys in the gang will get a kick out of those. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whew. 
8 inch. <laughs> Ain't gonna work. Don't let, Don't let your meat low! That was weak. Try it again. <laughs> it ain't like it. Again. This ain't sign language. <laughs> again. Don't do that. Alright, ready? Right. Here we go. Right, you ready? Right. One, two, three. Don't let your meat low!